played every sport and I really looked up to my older brother who loved soccer and he always needed someone to shoot on. So I became a goalie at a very young age, um, maybe not by choice, but it, it ended up working out just fine. I went and played at Michigan State and then I kind of uh, had a little bit of bitterness for the game after just our season ended in a, in a really heartbreaking way, but that didn't last very long. And you know, six months later, I had the itch to play again at a high level. And so that's when DCFC had a women's team and that's kind of where it all started up again. I, I was super blessed after college to get a great job working with kids with autism um, and so that's something I didn't want to give up and so DCFC was kind of a perfect end result for me because it allowed me to still help the kids I'm passionate about and also play the sport and be a teammate. You know there wasn't a lot of women's sports teams that provided this opportunity and so through that I was like you know what let's do it. Something that's really important to me is being a leader not just to my teammates but also to you know little kids in the crowd that look up to us. I think mentorship is extremely important and that's what keeps the game going, that's what keeps women's sports going you know is when we can pass down knowledge or experience or whatever it may be to other people in our position, so in my case goalies. So I feel like I, I always held that on my back, but now I have the opportunity to even take it a step further.